Good morning, everyone. Welcome to morning prayer this morning, live from St. Anne's Church. What a beautiful few days we're having, wonderful for half term, wonderful for bank holiday. I hope you've been able to enjoy it. Sorry to those of you who tried to join us online for St. Anne's at four on Sunday. We were outside, so the internet couldn't hold our connection. But we had a great time outside singing God's praises, as we wouldn't be able to do if we were inside. We come before God this morning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This coming week at St Anne's at Four, we'll be returning to our holy habit, our breaking bread, um, holy habit material. So I'm going to read to us today from Matthew chapter 4. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. God's word to us today. In this holy habit of breaking bread, we've been seeing from the Bible how God provides for all our needs, both our physical and spiritual needs. Also about how sometimes our concern for our physical needs is often stronger for that of our spiritual needs, for that our spiritual needs are as equally important as the physical ones. This story of Jesus going into the wilderness comes straight after his baptism. We often think about it in the season of Lent. But it's interesting for us to think about it just after having celebrated Pentecost because it says that after his baptism, Jesus was filled by the Holy Spirit and was led out by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. We might find it strange that the Holy Spirit would lead Jesus into the wilderness, a place of challenge. But it was crucial that Jesus' identity as the Son of God revealed to him in a special way at his baptism, was tested ahead of his ministry. Mm -hmm. 
We've all been in a time of testing, haven't we, over the past 18 months? And there may be other things that are testing us at the moment. I was reading recently some of the letters that Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote when he was in prison in Germany. And I was so inspired by them, because even though Bonhoeffer was in prison, he saw it not as an inconvenience, but managed to turn it round, seeking the spiritual riches, the spiritual nourishment, where the physical nourishment was lacking, and when his situation was testing and challenging. So as we think of the Holy Spirit leading Jesus into the wilderness today, let's ask God that when we are tested, that he will meet us there. Let's pray that when we are tested, we will find in these places the spiritual nourishment of God. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for all the good gifts you give to us and we thank you for the beautiful sunshine that we've had these days, for the chance for a bank holiday or a half-term holiday, for this time of refreshment. We thank you, Father, for your gift of the vaccine and to be able to meet with one another in various ways again. We thank you, Lord, that you care for us and our physical needs. We pray also, Lord, for our spiritual needs today, that we would not neglect them, but that we would find them in you. Help us, Lord, particularly when we are tested, to seek you, to know you, to find you there ministering to us. In your name we pray. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us today. God bless you this week, whatever it holds for you, and please do continue to join us. We'll be here for morning prayer Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.